the book Adios America, that's going, that's going great. What was your first book and what made you want to write it? High Crimes and Misdemeanors. I was a practicing lawyer and the two, my two careers came together. There was a felon in the White House. Okay. So I wrote a book on the impeachment of Bill Clinton and I'm glad you asked about my first book because I've now written 11 big books, all of them New York Times bestsellers, though you didn't ask. Um, I assume, <laughs> I assume. And the first one and this latest one were the only ones, I mean, I think the latest one, Adios America, is the most important book I've written. I think it's the best book I've written. Um, it's shorter than it looks. You really should read it. It's like 100 pages of footnotes. You can knock it off in a day, and it's really funny. And it's important, and Donald Trump read it, so you can understand everything that's happening over oh, the next year. Oh, there you go. If you read, that's where Trump you're, loves you. That's where he got that spicy stuff on Mexican rapist. <laughs> Um, but the first book and the last book were the only ones, usually I've been correcting lies in the historical record or right. the scientific record, Darwinism, Joe McCarthy, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, these two are, or the first one and the last one, and maybe my last one ever, um, are calls for action right now. It was setting forth high crimes and misdemeanors, the grounds for impeachment, where we got high crimes and misdemeanors from the Constitution and calling for President Clinton to be impeached, yeah. which he was, though many people forget that. This one is a call to save our nation because it is going to be adios America. Immigration is not a single issue. It's not just, oh, well, we have gay marriage and abortion and what yeah. we should do with Syria. No, everything is decided by immigration because that's who votes here. It changed the culture, the nature. The only way the refugee crises and this and illegal immigrants, the only way it ever stops is if it, if all countries are identical. Mm -hmm. So that there's no reason to move from one country to another. We're just all Uganda. And that's what's <laughs> happening to our country now. If we're going to go out and save the rest of the world from earthquakes, from tsunamis, from warlords, from Nazis, from, if we're going to be the force of good that we've always yeah. been in the world, we have to save ourselves first. And now is the time we are at the tipping point. Well, that's the thing. Isn't that like a scuba diving thing or when you're in a lifeboat, you're like, make sure you're okay. No, it's in the airplane, they tell that's you. Make right. sure your I've mask is on that. first. Yeah. I've been comparing As it a to nation, that. let's put on our own masks, America. Yeah, then you take care of your child. That's great. So you don't tell me you're going to stop writing. You, 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 drop, you tried to slip that in, like, oh, which might be my last book. No, you've got another book coming. You've already got a title. That's what I, I feel it. What, Unless what? Trump is elected and saves us. I mean, once it's Americans voting, this is the problem. People are so upset about, you know, what's happened under in the last seven years. And I'm very upset about it. I won't even detail the reasons we just keep losing and losing and losing or yeah. the things we've been losing. But the reason for it is Teddy Kennedy's 1965 Immigration Act. And I mean, the people you meet, it's not like liberals are changing any minds. They changed the voters. Mm -hmm. So even Democrats... I've met and liberals, they're saying, okay, that's it. I've had it with this guy. Hellfire will rain down on the Democrats. There always has been a pushback after LBJ, after the Watergate Congress, after two years of Bill Clinton. There's always this right wing pushback and things get leveled out. Well, even if people feel that way, they're about to be outvoted by foreigners. Yeah. And so I trust Americans. Just let Americans vote and assimilated immigrants, which we are not doing right now. Yeah. And then I trust Americans to do the right thing on everything else. But if we don't stop our current immigration policy, there will be no point to what I do. You tell jokes, so you can still tell the jokes, but the political <laughs> stuff, irrelevant. No point to Fox News, no point to writing political books. If I ever write another book, unless Trump gets elected, it will be a cookbook. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks for sit sitting down. I know you're incredibly busy. Thanks for watching the video. Do me a big favor. Click like, click subscribe. The flip side, it's the best how-to video makeover makeup show politics can bring you. I write everything myself. <laughs>